question for you is, how can you uh, reinforce doing things a new way when people are always finding a better way? Or as they would say, we're always finding workarounds and some of those workarounds lead to improvements. So Tracy, I'd like to kick this one over to you first. Um, that, that's where I think you need to make sure that your um, standards or your, your change management is agile. Um, there are constantly going to be bigger ways, or better ways to do something. Um, and then that also, how are you empowering people to do a little experimenting uh, safely and quickly so that they can show you the impact of what they, they think they can do, but also reinforcing this is, our, this is, this is what we're doing now. There's an experiment period, and then we transition over to this. So you can't just snap your fingers. We, we have to align to this until we prove this out and, and convert everyone over. So it's a, it's just a little bit of a culture thing, but also that uh, empowering them to, to do a little learning and present it to you. Our, your lean program is going to be success, as successful as the highest level of leadership that you have on board. Uh, and that's, that's really key. If you have um, a very strong uh, commitment, um, not just, um, I should say, support, but also that participation is important as well with leader. If you have a um, supervisor in a particular area, they're super energized with, with lean and 5S and continuous improvement cards and that all aspect, well, you're gonna have a super great department. Um,